In today's news, Alex Pereira fires back at Magomed Ankalaev. Recently, Ankalaev spoke with TMZ Sports revealing that he is in talks with the UFC about a championship fight against Pereira and stated that everything is in Alex's hands. He also made a prediction saying he'd knock Pereira out. Now, via YouTube, Pereira has finally responded to Ankalaev's talk. Hear it from Poetan. Vocês viram, né? Muitas pessoas tentam se promover, querendo me diminuir, falando que vai me nocautear, falando que vai me finalizar, falando que vai me segurar. Mas estou treinando, estou evoluindo, tô muito feliz né, com a minha evolução. A diferença é, dessas pessoas que já têm essa grande experiência, esse tempo todo né, no MMA, é que eu estou num processo de evolução. As pessoas não entenderam isso, estou evoluindo. E eu comecei a evoluir agora. Então essa é a diferença. Consegui bater de frente só com o kickbox, praticamente. Tracy Cortez reacts following a decision loss to Rose Namajunas. Namajunas handed Cortez her first loss inside of the octagon, putting on a vintage performance that showed off all facets of her well-rounded game. Shortly after the bout, Cortez spoke to Megan Olivey of ESPN MMA, revealing she wasn't fully prepared and she'd give Namajunas a better fight if she had a longer training camp. Uh, I took it on a two-week notice, unprepared, and I gave it all I had. Um, I know if I were to have a full camp prepared, I mean, my cardio was there. I think um, I would have done a lot better with a good game plan, but I think I proved myself tonight that I can go five fives, you know, and um, yeah, looking forward to the next one. Tracy also believes she waited too long to put the pressure on Rose. Because it was five fives, I was really trying to pace myself the first and second round, and um, I just realized you know what, this, this is give it all I have. It's all or nothing. And um, I think I waited a little too long to really push it on her. Yeah, I, I hurt my toe, no excuses. And it was kind of hard for me to get up. But yeah, I was also I was pretty upset that, I, that she took me down the way she did. The UFC's French Canadian broadcast accidentally leaks the Spear card. The main event and co-main event for the upcoming UFC 306 card at the iconic Spear in Las Vegas looks to have been accidentally leaked. Soon after Namajunas' clash with Tracy Cortez, the UFC's French-Canadian commentators revealed that the September 14 card will be headlined by a featherweight clash between Ilya Teporia and Max Holloway. The broadcaster also revealed that Sean O'Malley will be defending his title against Murad Vajvili in the co-main event. Sean Strickland apologizes to David Goggins. Goggins and Strickland have been going back and forth in recent days, which has culminated to a three-day boot camp with Goggins for Strickland, while Goggins has agreed to a three-round boxing match against the former UFC champ. Strickland then called Goggins a fraud. Hey guys, let me explain to you why I make fun of David Goggins. He is a fraudulent man. He's an easy target. He, he's a fraud. Bro, you are so great at running down the street. You're not hard. You're not tough. You run, my man. And do you know why I know you're fraudulent? Because as I make fun of you and you post your little TikTok video, I'm a hard man. I'll show up. I'll handle this like a man. No, you won't, dude. I train at Extreme Couture. I'm easy to find. You live in Las Vegas. I live in Las Vegas. Show up. Bitch showed up. Do you not know how to use GPS, my man? Do you not know how to do you not know how to get in your car? I'll tell you what, why don't you jog down? But you won't, dude, because you are a fing fraud. You go on TikTok and you make these stupid videos. You are a fraud and that's why I make fun of you and that's why you will never show up because I will expose you I will expose you so just stay on TikTok and keep running or man up and show up which you won't shortly after clarified his comments apologizing to Goggins reasoning that he's just bored and angry the MMA community shows support to Donald Trump after Saturday's shooting incident 
Trump was in Butler, Pennsylvania yesterday for a presidential rally when gunshots were fired in the middle of his speech. Footage showed the former president grimace and raise a hand to his ear before ducking and being sworn by Secret Service agents. In a statement, Trump's campaign said he was fine and being checked out at a local medical facility. Footage of the assassination attempt quickly went viral and several pro fighters have taken to social media to share their thoughts and reactions. Colby Covington tweeted, President Trump is the toughest man on the face of this earth. God bless him and his family right now. Sean Strickland, wow. Trump is an utter savage, balls of steel. Jamal Hill, can't stop the train, pray for the prez. Dana White, I'm on a plane right now flying to Italy and my phone has been blowing up with text messages from people informing me Donald Trump was shot. I'm absolutely sick to my stomach and in complete shock. I still don't know how bad it is or if he's okay, but Mick Maynard just sent me this picture and I'm praying President Trump is 100% healthy. This image perfectly reflects exactly the man I know Donald Trump to be. He is the toughest, most resilient American badass on this planet. I hope the weak coward that shot him gets what he deserves, and I can't wait to stand up on stage with him on Thursday and introduce him at the Republican National Convention and tell the world exactly the character of the friend and the man I know. Jorge Masvidal, God loves this man. I'm happy that President Trump is okay. The left knows no bounds. They say they are non-violent ones. They will stop at nothing. Make sure you take screenshots of any leftists celebrating what happened today. Terrence McKinney, they're going to use this picture for the next 20 years. I know I would. Demetrius Johnson, man, it's 2024. They try to kill Trump. What the f***? Tim Kennedy, every single pundit, politician, world leader, celebrity, and every other American in this country needs to denounce any form of political violence. Ben Askren, if Donald Trump doesn't come out to 50 cents, many men wish death on me at the Republican National Committee, I'll be disappointed. Bo Nickel, I can't believe what just happened. President Trump is as tough as they come and we need him in the White House. Sending prayers, God bless America. Cheeto Vera, seems like a shooter is just as bad as Biden. You're a hell. So, now I'm convinced that Trump is actually a good guy if they're trying that shit. Josh Thompson, Will Biden denounce violence against his political opponent? Grab your popcorn, ladies and gentlemen, for the media circus coming. Matt Brown, Trump just won the election. Game over. I'm not a fan, but I'll put serious respect on his name after standing up and pumping his fists and screaming to fight. Nina Drama said, I will be at the Republican National Convention next week to support my two favorite presidents, Donald Trump and Dana White, two men who have never backed down and ever shown fear or weakness in the heart of any storm, two men who have defied all odds and stayed true to themselves, regardless of what anyone has ever said about their character, the definition of a real leader, and a real BMF. McGregor wrote, a 78-year-old, multiple billionaire, he should be on a yacht on the med touring golf courses, but he is not. He is in Pennsylvania spitting out bullets, running for the love of his country. Godspeed, Donald. God bless the United States. Mike Chandler replied to Connor's post, writing, We stand united on this one. McGregor then replied, providing an update on his return, writing, I talked to Dana today about a new date. All looking good. 24 for sure. Chandler responded with the done deal and fist him out. It's time for today's top memes. Third place was found over on Instagram and was posted by TMM Official. Second place meme was found over on Reddit and was posted by can't find username. The top picked meme was found over on IG and was posted by as shopped as it gets. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to stay in the talk.